I, hi, this is Dr. Eric Hine, here to tell a really interesting story, something that we, we just went through. This is my, my friend Blake. He's a, a, a worker, a hard worker, who had just been through a lot with, with uh, being off work for a number of years. We wanted to share a story that a lot of people, they go off work and they have trouble and, and they, they end up giving up. And we are here to tell you to not give up, that there's a path forward. So uh, Blake, I'm wondering if you could share your story with us. Certainly. So my name is Blake and I'm a heavy equipment operator, truck driver, 40 years of it. Uh, I had a workplace injury back in 2009, which I fought and I won. Uh, but I was a sole provider of family four. So in the cortisone shots and the physio kind of helped me, but I, uh, I pushed through with working with a little bit of pain every day. And November 27, 2021, I, uh, I just couldn't take it no more. And of course, it's been a battle with WorkSafe ever since. I'm talking 19 months. Uh, you know, if you have family support or whatever you can do to survive while you're fighting them, it's well worth it because uh, between the doctors and the medical, and uh, you know, they want you to go away. They're an insurance company, but stick with it, have faith. You know, uh, it's been hard on me physically, and uh, what I get out of this that I've never had before is, uh, you know, I got a little depression and stress, and uh, I've occurred to panic attacks, which I'm not embarrassed to say, uh, all due to this process. Uh, but stick with it because, uh, you know, you will get the help you need, and uh, uh, hopefully you can live a life with quality and not so much pain 24 7. Thanks, thanks Blake for sharing. So since from my perspective I helped, we had to go to the tribunal, um, there was technical issues at play a lot, it was bureaucracy. Uh, it wasn't the fact that there, there were any clinical issues regarding the problem, it was a lot of bureaucracy and a lot of red tape. And a lot of people, they, they're not able to source through that. So we stuck with the facts, that was the key, we stuck with the facts, we presented it properly, and Blake was very patient. I was help, happy to be able to help and go to the tribunal and, and testify on his behalf and support his case. And we we're successful. And we're not here to say that every single case in a work set is, is a bad one or they're all bad people. Far from that. But, you know, we like to say if you're a square peg for a round hole for a giant bureaucracy, you know, sometimes you can run into trouble. A lot of times you run into trouble. Blake was a square peg. Uh, so what we're able to do is just stick with it and, and push it and he's been doing all the heavy lifting um, but it just shows that when you're genuine and you have the facts on your side just keep going be patient it's exhausting it will can take you to the brink but there is a solution for you and, and don't give up so we're happy that we have a very uh, a good outcome here and uh, everyone should really hear that uh, not all is lost if uh, you start running into resistance on these types of cases. So anyway, uh, happy to share the case, happy to share the story, it was a good one, and uh, we wish you all the best, and to Take care. <laughs>